Take it away, Howie. Why are we here? Why are you here? Well, we're here because all the foreign ministers that are members of NATO are here at the U.S. State Department to get their orders. This is not a defensive alliance. It's a way to go around the U.N. and engage in regime change and occupations, whether we're talking about Iraq or Libya. Now NATO is extended to Colombia. And, and this is not about defending anybody. Run. This is about making the world safe for global they corporations. And that's no why gun. we're here, because we're squandering no our public treasury on no a military empire for. around the world, not for the people of the United States, but if for the I big corporations. And so we're protesting that and saying it's time to be the world's humanitarian superpower instead of its military superpower and make friends instead of enemies around the world. And that'll be a much, we'll have a much more secure world, much more peaceful world, and we can deal with the real problems like climate change, like we're now in a nuclear arms race, and like people's basic needs aren't being met. So those are some of the reasons we're out here today. Uh, you're, you're running as a, a peace candidate, and there's been a lot of talks about, you know, um, Tulsi being a peace candidate, other folks being a peace candidate. Why do you think that uh, folks should, should consider your campaign? Well, I'm testing the waters. A lot of people have asked me to run for the Green Party nomination. Uh -huh. So I announced an exploratory committee yesterday, partly because I would be down here in D.C. for this activity and others. And this is about seeing if people really want an alternative. Both the Democrats and Republicans are tra praising NATO. They are giving the military more money than they asked for. And they just had an audit and found there's $23 trillion over the last couple of decades that we can't account for how it was spent. I mean, this is like a lot of money. So we need a Green Party in this election to be the party for peace and against militarism. And the question is whether I should be that candidate. So we're testing the waters right now. Great.